someone's got to start the slow clap. So I'm going to start for you. Right then. Before we even go into the episode, well, yeah, before we even go into the episode, I'm going to say right off the bat, I'm giving this episode a 10 out of 10. Okay? Just so you know. This isn't, f you may call it fanboyism, I'll accept that. But that is my personal opinion. Now let's go into the episode. And considering what type of episode this was, mainly, you must admit it, it's done a good job. Tremendously well. Okay, this battle, this episode, straight off the bat, was battle heavy. Exactly my point. I gave a battle, a battle heavy episode 10 out of 10. And it was done so well. There was no, there was no stretching. There was no dragging it out. There was no <sighs> senseless talking. I suppose that would go into the drag out part. But it was done well. It was done at a nice pace. It wasn't rushed. It was just about right. It, it, just right. The mute. <sighs> I've read the mic. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, I've read the manga, and, yeah, my body was ready for greatness, but it wasn't ready for the outcome. <sighs> the ba the episode started off from where, um, um, Diadra River, or Liver, however you want to call him, I'm calling him River, as I said last time, and Flute Boy went in to, um, attack, um, Bulot, but um, Bulot um, sliced up Diadra and kicked away River and um, uh, Flute Boy. Um, it then um, had River going up, and then Tatsumi was like, "Oh, this is a general, isn't it? The one from, Ta from Bulot's story." And then um, um, we saw um, River's um, Tegu, um, the um, Black Marlin. Yes, I believe it's called. He was explaining that it was. Um, uh, formed from the um, organs of an uh, aquatic dragon or beast, and I mean his his power is amazing. I mean, like, <sighs> yeah, out of the three beasts, he's my favourite one. I mean, Diadra. I mean, like, I'm surprised if he could be anyone's favourite. To be honest, the only, yeah, um, like I said, the battle's done well. We got to see amazing attacks, and for Bulot's um, final battle, this this was a well done final battle. It, it was worthy of him, like he, him going up against essentially his mentor is better, and like instead of um, Bulot win it, winning straight away, or um, the better River winning straight away, they ended the battle in a draw, showing that um, both of their powers were equal. There was no better on the um, on the table, they both of their beliefs and desires and skills were on the same level. But that's probably me diving too much into it. But what can what can I say? Sharon, um, um, when um River got struck down, um, and his blood went out, um, Bullard caught on like, oh god, blood is a form of liquid. Need to cut, jump back, but um, the blood was too. Um, like quick, like he got hit in some parts, and then Bulot, uh, not Bulot, <laughs> and then River just like, um, this, uh, this is my um, trump card, um, like um, the enhancement they um, put into him, it was a poison, and for Lady Esdeath's um, will, or like his, like his um, solemn duty to her, he had to bring him down, no matter the cost, at the cost of his own life. And he did succeed. He succeeded in Lady Esdeath's um, wish, take down a member of Night Raid, even if he didn't kill the, um, um, target, the initial target, mainly. I suppose it, uh, this did draw out Night, well, it did draw out Night Raid, so River did succeed in that regard, and kill, what the hell was that? And kill, killing him off. Not only that, um, we got a l more insight into Esdeath's personality. Now then, we know that she's a sadist, uh, even more so from the manga read from from manga readers. But I'm just going on from anime experience now. Um, we know that she's a sadist from what we said, uh, from what we've heard rather, and from what we witnessed, uh, mainly with him um, that fucking North guy, the King in the 
turn off. <laughs> uh, and um, she she can be a caring person, but that care like to River, she helped him out. Um, she saw him as a tool, yes, as a strong tool, but she cared enough to um exonerate him, like clear him of his um crimes. She he when um River was like, oh, I can't even if I could join your army, um. Like I'm a criminal. I mean, like the prime minister would never allow it, and because of her position and um, what she's like, like uh, she's basically the forefront of the army. If she goes, then the empire is basically fucked. So the prime minister won't like argue with her if if, if she wants River um, on his on her side, whether he's a criminal or not. The prime minister will allow it, and um, she also said that any other troubles, if there's anything else troubling you, I'll sort it out. Yes, she's a um, sadist, and yes, her reasoning for getting River out was, um, not in a pure way, so to speak, I can't really word it, but it was in a kind way, like, she he's on his side, and essentially she was saying, any more problems that arise for you, I will sort them out no matter what. So she's a sadist, but she looks out for her soldiers. So she's a she's a compassionate leader at the same time as being a sa as a, a sadist at heart, really. So like she has a, a Tasunda side and a dire dire side, however it's pronounced. Uh, yeah, um, not only that, but um, touched me. Bulat passed on the torch of Incursio to Tatsumi, and he. Wield it well. The um, armor evolved to suit him, and um, he defeated Flute Boy like it was nothing. I mean, that was a that was a perfect show. I mean, like it, it, Flute Boy is basically t talking himself big, like, "Oh, I'm the trump card," and I'm just like, "No, no, you're not the trump card of the three three beasts. Get the fuck down." River is the trump card. <laughs> so, um, with a single like. Call it. Uh, hold on. <sighs> Again, the bad of myself. Um, when um, the flute boy was um, bringing him down before him, um, obviously Encourage or evolved to suit Tatsumi. Um, he, Tatsumi was even having doubts in himself, and then um, Bulat punched him, and he was like, "Are you gonna let the words of your enemy get to you?" I mean, like it shouldn't really, because it's basically the person that he's looking up to. Tatsumi looking at the Bulat. He's basically passing on something that he thought he'd never have in Kurzio, or being like um, hit Bulot, because essentially it can be, uh, having in Kurzio, he's now being Bulot, well, not being Bulot, he's like in the shoes of um, his um, idol. Sharon, back to the fight with him, Flute Boy, uh, single punch, blocked, and like Flute, Flute Boy was like, yeah, I've got this, but then no. <laughs> the shock wave just burst him back, and the, yeah, the blood just spattered. His body was crushed, and then he died. <sighs> and then he and then he asked um, Bulot if it was okay for him to cry. Mm. And then we also have a setup with Karumi. Now, uh, with uh, with Karumi, I'm going to be the six. <sighs> A member of the six, really, and I'll say this: um, like going to a manga side now. Um, the six that um, are being mentioned, I'm not going to say who they are, obviously, but those six were initially intended to um, a add on to um, the three beasts. Um, during the um, meeting, I think, yeah, I don't think she mentioned asking for six Tego users in the meeting in the anime. In the manga, she did. I mean, there was a lot of stuff skipped from the meeting, like, um, but, yeah, minor, but still. I mean, like, in saying I made it look like the, she had the high, uh, she had high hopes for the free beast, which is essentially what she did. Um, yeah, but also, when I mentioned last week, like, with, um, um, the mountain scene with Tatsumi and Bull Bullard, um, being taken out, I thought it was going to be recycled for this episode, I'm kind of da bummed that it wasn't, but I'm hoping that it's recycled for next episode. And if it's not, 
that scene is basically gone and I'll be entirely and I'll be extremely disappointed if it's not the next week. I will say it this now. So yeah, ten out of ten. Set up for Esdef. We got insight to Esdef's personality more so. Character development for um Tatsumi in a major way. Um uh, a Tego for Tatsumi. Um we got a good fight. Uh, well, amazing fight between River and Bulot. Um acting was superb. Music Yeah. I know it may sound like I'm being like a um, bias saying everything, but it was just my experience with, with watching the anime and uh, watching the episode. And I still got the chills. I was still on the edge of my seat even knowing what was gonna happen. It's just like Yeah. This episode was good. And um I don't know when um, this anime is going to um end off. So yeah, I'm kind of not worried, but um it, I'll say it this much. It's only gonna get worse from here on out. So yeah. Ten out of ten. And if you say that's a spoiler then dear god. That is not a spoiler. It's just the hint at something on the in on an entire scale. Yeah. It's not a spoiler. I'm not saying what. I'm not saying who. I'm not saying where. I'm just say saying something in general. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Rest in peace, Bulat. For a short amount of time you were here, you did a good job. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace.